Oggi! Been getting all these emails from Toys R Us talking about the Christmas book is here and gift points. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to think about it. And every time my son sees a commercial on TV, he's like, Mama, can you tell Santa I want that? He's like, Oh my God, you want everything. He's like, I know Santa's rich. Santa's just not rich, baby. Just like last night, I was so trying to get him to sleep in his bed. I don't know if you guys have Facebook or saw my Facebook post. He totally, I said, baby, please go sleep in your bed. Mommy wants to sleep by herself. She never gets her bed. You guys always take me off the bed. I never have any blankets. And he just put his little hand on his hip and he said, oh, mama, life is full of so many options. Why would I ever choose that one? <laughs> and I just looked at him and I said, are you four? He said, yeah, but guess what? There's a bedroom next to you. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. There's a bedroom next to Papa. I can go sleep with my Papa and yeah, yeah. How about that? Would you like that? And I was like, in celebration. <laughs> I couldn't take it. He's just too much for me. He's very, very smart. And he's all, he just turned four. So I don't know where everything's coming. But the whole life is full of options. Why would I ever choose that one? It just kills me. I just looked at him. Then one day, I was trying to get a splinter out of his foot, and I was digging at it with a needle like you always do, and he said, he was sitting there crying, and I'm like, why are you crying? This is the only thing we can do. Never, never, I know there's more options. You're always talking about options. <laughs> I always tell them, was that the best option for you to choose? Are you sure that that was the right one? And he's always looking at me like, no. So these, the whole option thing. <laughs> Don't give your kids options, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them back at you. <laughs> okay. So on to my story. Yeah, that was my all last night. I was like, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Could not believe it. Oh, so good. Just like he's trying to finagle me into letting him stay up later. Because he told me that he's four. And when he was three, he got to stay up until 8.30. So now that he's four, he should be able to stay up until nine. <laughs> I don't understand. How do you know time? Okay, life's bad. <laughs> Lord, my life span is short to me because of my children. <laughs> when it comes to the blueprint for all inherited traits, those are our chromosomes. So the nurse tells the mother that the blueprint for all inherited traits, such as height, is found in the sperm, ovary, chromosome, nucleus of the cell. Chromosome, exactly. We also know that there's different types of families. There's the extended family, there's the social family, there's the blended family, and then there's the nuclear family. Well, when it comes to the nuclear family, that's your little white picket fence family. That is the mother and father met, they married, they had their children, and they've been together for the past 40 years. So everybody's biological. It's the ideal family that you want. When it comes to social families, those are what are our common law. We live together like we're husband and wife. We've never been married, but we're okay. We still have kids together. We're cool. When it comes to a blended family, that's where it's the stepmom, stepkids, stepdad, stepkids, something like that. Then the extended family, well, we know what that is. That's a nuclear family. But then that consists of the grandma and the aunts and the uncles. Most of us actually have that. If you're Filipino, if you're Hispanic, if you're of Asian descent, we all take care of our own. We don't believe in retirement homes. We believe in grandma's too old. Everybody, you got to clear out your room because you're moving in next Saturday. Yeah, that's what we do. So, 
The nurse discovers in her intake assessment of a five-year-old child that he lives with his biological parents and his siblings. 